What's up guys? It's Johnny, Juiced Up Johnny, back at you with another video. Why am I saying another video? It's my first video that you guys are gonna see posted to my YouTube with my face, with me talking. So, yeah. I don't know. I'm just kinda trying out something different. I'm trying to, uh, how would I say this? trying to capture art in a different sense because normally I write down a lot of my thoughts and I journal it and I'll post it somewhere or I'll just keep it in my journal but I figured I'd do an audio log, an entry log and just kind of let you guys know where I'm at and how I'm doing I don't know <sighs> I've had a pretty rough day, I was just really just recovering from the night out, which if you follow my Instagram, you got to see like some of it very briefly, but yeah, I've just been at home, just relaxing. I know Henry came over this morning. We had a little juice, a little Vitality juice to help the, the hangover. And we went and got some first watch, you know, food always helps. And then I pretty much just slept. I went to the mechanic, got my car checked out. <coughs> pardon me came back did some more sleeping and now i'm just kind of sun gazing enjoying nature and really reflecting on a lot of everything just life this year how i'm doing now compared to where i was a year ago and where i was two years ago and I've been really thinking a lot lately about the concept of progress and what does progress actually look like. As someone who's been in the self-improvement space for a very, very, I wouldn't say very, very long time, but I've been in the self-improvement space unironically since I was about 14, because that's when I really started working out. And then I started journaling at 16. I started doing all the things and I've seen all the videos and the motivational edits and pardon me, the sniffles, I'm a little sick. I've seen all the motivational edits and the hype videos and top 10 tips to be a high value man and all these things. And I think one thing that is is really missing is how how do you value how do you measure progress and how much value does progress have in your life and when and how much value does progress have to you when you're on self-improvement so you know I've been kind of beating myself up lately because I felt like I haven't made a lot of progress in my life and I've kind of reached this standstill where I'm doing really well in certain areas and I'm not doing so well in other areas and obviously you can't be perfect a hundred percent of the time and you can't be doing well in everything well i guess you could but that's just not how i see myself realistically and so i've been beating myself up because i feel like i'm not making enough progress or i'm not making the progress that i want to make so i started thinking and i started reading in my journal about you know other entries that i've put in through this past year and i've seen I've seen progress, just not in the way that I'm used to. So I'm not working, like a, a good example is I'm currently not working as much as I used to simply because of my school schedule. So I go to school Monday to Thursday and I work Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And unfortunately the spot where I work at is closed on Sundays at the moment. So I'm really only working Friday, Saturdays. So my paychecks have taken a huge hit. So I'm not seeing the progress that I'm used to financially, but the things that I wasn't missing or the things that I wasn't noticing because I wasn't working so much is how much effort I was able to put into other areas of my life, such as going, getting back in the gym. I'm going twice a day now, like four times a week. I'm really sharp with my diet, the recovery, the working out, supplements, all of that my academics for the first time i've been on and off in college for many years but this is the first semester where i was really dialed in and i really 
set aside time to study and I didn't feel overwhelmed because I had to work later that day or I had to do something else. And maybe that's just a product of me maturing and reevaluating my priorities in my life. But I felt like that's something that I wouldn't have been able to do or handle literally at the beginning of this year. You know, because I was like, I have to work, I have to work, I have to make this money, I have to make this bread, I have to save, save, save. And while it's not fun having such a drastic hit to your paycheck because you're not, you can't work as much, uh, I've also just learned how to not spend as much money. I've learned how to just spend on what's absolutely necessary. And if I want to have fun, then I just kind of schedule it and I plan for it. Or I just pick activities that are not normally super like hard on the wallet like I'm used to picking like I I love going to Kava but let's face it like the drinks are mad expensive there and you know once you have one or two or three you know you, your bill starts to starts to rack up it's the same thing with going out to eat I love going out to eat with my friends and even by myself taking myself out on dates but you know I've just learned to replace those hobbies so you know i'd either just study more or you know i just stay inside the house i talk to my parents really develop that relationship or i got back into watching anime which i hadn't done in years so there's other ways around it and that's a that in a, of a in and of itself is a form of progress because i'm not forcing myself to work to gain I don't know, I'm not forcing myself to this standard that I feel like I, that was, I don't know how to say it, but I don't know, to me that, that, that I see that as progress because literally just six, seven months ago, I would have been in shambles at, you know, not having the resources that I, I'm used to having. But when I look at the positives, I'm also like, wow, that's a lot of effort that I'm putting into other things in my life that I wasn't able to because I was working so much, you know, that kind of condensed my life. And so I really started thinking about this after watching a, an Elisha Long video, the High Thumos guy. And I don't know what his, um, I don't know which video it was, but he talked about not condensing your life. He calls it not catching the Sigma bullshit, which is kind of true as somebody who's been in the self-improvement space or the Manosphere or Red Pill, whatever you want to call it, like... I've really condensed my life. I was like, it's just work and school and gym and work and school and gym. And then when I'm not going to school, it's just work and gym and work and gym. And, you know, and I, I really was really, really hesitant against going out, having any sort of fun, which I still kind of am. But I, you know, once I started watching his videos and listening to this, I kind of understood the reasoning behind it. It's because I'm condensing my I'm condensing my world. And the more that I allowed freedom and flow into my life, I feel like the more progress I've been able to see. So by slowly expanding my life and expanding these boundaries and having flow and achieving this balance, I see more progress than when I just condense my life and I force, I shut myself in and I have to I have to be isolated because that's how I make the most progress, which I think there's definitely times in your life for that. Absolutely. But I think as as men, you have to have this kind of expanded world or expanded boundary where you kind of find your flow with between the highs and the lows. So a perfect example would be I thought the most progress the the happier i would be happier if i was making more progress and the way that i knew that i was making progress is i was tracking them every day in a habit tracker which is not a bad thing in of itself but i became more obsessed with the idea of crossing it off my to-do list and crossing it off my habit tracker than i was actually doing those things because i saw the benefits it was providing for my life and this is something that elisha long talks about it becomes more of a, a form of mental masturbation and that is what halts your progress. And I guess that's kind of the point of this whole video is getting rid of the mental masturbation because that's where the progress really begins. You're not doing things for the sake of crossing it off a to-do list because that it's inherently good for you. 
you're doing things because you know that it's good for you and you want to do those things and that's how you're choosing to live your life. And there's a huge, huge difference between those things. And so uh, I'll close with this. One example, I think the biggest example of the progress that I keep talking about of like, expanding my boundaries is I was never really like somebody to go out after work or really just to go out and like <clears throat> chop it up at bars with the friends with the homies at core workers after work anything of that source i was super super against it and i have this one friend henry who's kind of and jack jack i owe a lot of credit to jack for this one too they've kind of pushed me in this boundary like they've kind of pushed my boundaries in a safe way to be like hey man why don't you come out to this party why don't you come out to you know this or why don't you go to the bar with us and it's not that you know henry and i were literally talking about this this morning it's not that you want to make going out to the bars or the cigar lounge or the kava bars you don't want to make that your lifestyle but by going there more often or choosing to step out of your comfort zone you can bring so much more pro like not only progress but you can bring so much more life into your own life because now you're out here you're interacting with people you're making relationships you're actually initiating the conversation you're getting to know other people and other perspectives you're not just constantly absorbing all of this knowledge and not putting any of it to use because then that's just useless it's not knowledge isn't power until it's applied and so like this week was super productive for me Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I was in the gym, worked out twice a day, all three of those days, sauna, yoga, cardio, I got it all. Homework done, applications done, I'm working on this certification, I got that done, I ordered this this Arduino that I need for, my, um, for engineering that I want to try and start working on by myself. And then Wednesday night came and me and the boys, we decided to go to see the table for ladies night. And then after that, we went to Rusty's, which is what I'm recovering from, really. But six, seven months ago, a year or two years ago, I would have never done that. I would have never done that. I would have chose to stay inside, not have that fun experience, not live life a little bit. And I I know damn well that I probably would have been on my phone, seeing other people going out, seeing other people doing things, and not feeling envy, but feeling like, wow, I should be doing that. Why am I not doing that? Or I kind of get this incel mindset where I'm like, oh, they shouldn't be doing that. They're destroying their lives, blah, 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 blah. And it just builds this sort of awkward energy within me. So, yeah, that was just... Uh, those are just my thoughts for today about progress and various other topics. So, yeah, I'm going to definitely do more of these. And, yeah, stay tuned. Have a good day.